Welcome. Today is my third video of an 90 day challenge and today's topic is going to be about what I've overcome to change my life forever. Um, the past two years for me has been really rough. Uh, my daughter was born two years ago but I'll start off giving the story. My wife was pregnant. Uh, we just found out we're you know, we, when she was pregnant, we found out that we were having a baby girl. And we were excited. We was going around telling everybody about it. We was on our way to my mother-in-law's house. And we get a phone call. And they tell us some drastic news. They tell us um, that she had a gap in the back of the brain. That uh, they didn't know how she was going to be when she came out. And they referred us to another doctor. So... That crushed our news. We didn't know what was going to happen, what was wrong. We were so concerned and worried. So we ended up going to see the special doctor, and his, his option, I mean, he told us that Danny Walker is so broad, they don't know exactly how she was going to be. They didn't know if she would be able to walk. They didn't know if she would be able to hear. I mean, they didn't, I mean, they didn't know if she, you know, had, would have mental issues. They, they just did not know. So what their options were is to abort, abort the pregnancy, which in my religion that's a no. God would not give us anything that we could not handle. Um, that was not an option for me or us. I mean, we just prayed about it, and the Lord led us to everything will be okay. Well, so then shortly after we went to that doctor, I threw my back out. Um, I went through therapy. I took, um, seen two different back doctors. Um, pain medicine, you wouldn't believe, you know, is what they gave me. Um, Percocet, all that stuff, and I didn't get hooked on it or anything like that. Thank God, but I was in a lot of pain. I couldn't even sit down, so I had to have back surgery. But with, you know, so I just went off work. Doctor took me off work, and that next night, me and, you know, we went to bed, everything's normal. My wife mate wakes me up, probably, right, I think it was around 2 o'clock in the morning. Her water had broke. She was three months before she was supposed to have the baby. Um, I think it was three months. Anyway, she was pregnant for 32 weeks total, so whatever that is, her water broke at 32 weeks during the pregnancy, so we kind of freaked out. They sent us to a bigger city um, to have the baby, so we had to go to Toledo, Ohio, and uh, we had the baby and had Chloe, and they did a C-section. Um, she came out, and you know they she had her issues. They ran so many tests, and um, I'll post pictures later of when she was in a hospital. But uh, right now, I don't have them available. On my computer, I had to wipe my computer clean. <laughs> anyway, and start all over, but. She she was in a, a ventilator and uh, she was really, you know, she really scared to scared, we were scared to death. You know, she was in a hospital for a good three months or four months. I can't remember exactly, but everything went better. She started eating. She was when she was born. She was only three pounds, thirteen ounces. She was little, <laughs> but. You know, and you know, at first we couldn't hold her much. We'd leave her in the ventilator tank, or you know, whatever that thing that she was in. It was like a crib, and they pump air into it. But things kept getting better. You know, they uh, put her under a jaundice light, and you know, they ran all these tests. Uh, they, I mean, she had so many issues that they were finding out, but they were. You know, all fixable issues so things were look you know that was a good sign so uh, so that was two years ago when she you know uh, when she got to come home uh, I think three days after she got home I went ahead and continued with my back surgery so I went to have my back surgery done and that was like a miracle what that doctor did for me because I was feeling that pain was gone it was amazing what that doctor did for me. 
but uh, I was off and had to do their physical therapy for whatever. And you know, I went back to work. But Chloe's uh, doing great today. She's uh, been through seven surgeries. Everything is going perfect as planned. Um, she's still not walking yet. She's two years old. But they gave her like a walker type thing uh, to help her to learn to get her balance. She's having balance issues. But I'm, you know, I have my faith in God, and He wouldn't give us anything that we couldn't handle, and things are just have going so much better for her. So praise God for that. But it's just that you know, I felt like I should need to share that story with you and continue with my story. <laughs> so then this year, December. 2012 I mean uh, in December right before Christmas I found out that I had cancer and uh, how I discovered it was I was having a real bad pain in my side uh, right in over here and uh, I went to the doctor and they kept telling me it was gas pains so I continued to try the medicine they gave me for gas pains Next week, I went back. I said, it's still there. And they said, trust me, it's gas pains. It's okay. And then the pain got unbearable. And I said, well, I went without an appointment. I went to the doctor's office. I said, look, something isn't right. Um, because I would not have gas pains for three weeks. So you need to uh, get run some deeper tests. So they did. They sent me for a CT scan. And uh, got that done. When I got the results for, from that, they called me and said uh, they needed to see me right away. So I go to his office, and he tells me um, he was almost in tears when he was telling me this. Uh, he says, you have leukemia. <laughs> and, you know, I didn't research it. I didn't know what, what kind of cancer that was. So and I just kind of looked well okay what do we do to fix this how do we go from here so he sent me to have a biopsy so I went and had a biopsy done and then results came back that it wasn't leukemia it was sticticular cancer um, so I did still you know I didn't know what that meant so I was like so we went to the cancer doctor my uh, cancer doctor and he uh, he told me you know it's not leukemia, you know, it's not as bad as we thought it was, but it, it has spread throughout your body. Uh, you have it all in your lymph nodes. Um, you know, you have to do a pretty intense chemo. He says, but if you're going to have cancer, this is the cancer to have because it's very beatable. It has a good, chemo has a good uh, uh, percentage of beating this cancer. It's a good thing we caught it when we did. So I went through, um, went through chemo and all that stuff, and you know, I beat it. You know, I, it was miserable going through chemo, um, but it makes me who I am today, and this is why I have you know things in place for how I'm going to change my life. I'm going to live my life to the fullest. I'm going to enjoy life. This is what I want to do. I want to be a network marketer. I want to help other people. I want to share my story with others, help them come, you know, get involved. And if they don't want to get involved, that's okay. You know, this ain't for everybody. Um, I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me. That's not why I'm coming on here and doing this. I'm giving this testimonial to see to try to inspire people to look look if this guy can if I can go through it. You know, anybody can go through it. Uh, or you know, I mean, it, it was like I'm a normal guy. I wouldn't expect him to get all you know all those things that happened to me in the past two years. But do I let it bring me down? No, I don't. I don't let it bring it down. I believe everything happens for a reason. I mean, I overcome it. I never gave up, and I'm I'm moving forward with my life, and and it just makes me drive harder to get work the goal. You know, get my to hit my goals that I want to achieve. I do not want to fail. I'm not gonna fail. I mean, if I can overcome cancer, if I can overcome the problems, that, you know, all the stress and everything that was related to my daughter, um, it, you know, and if I wouldn't was not able to overcome all that, then I I would have gave up on life. I mean, it, I 
so many people give up and then their problems are not even close to the problems you know that I've had but there's people out there that has problems way worse than I've been through and I want to be for there for them people as well I mean I just want to be a support somebody to talk to to help you achieve your business if you're in a business or if you want to start a business I want to help you get to where you need to be and where you want to go with your um, your business and your life I mean my job we work crazy hours I don't like that it takes me away from my family it takes me away from my dreams from working on my dreams I mean my job we can up to work 65 70 hours a week <laughs> uh, I mean like Sunday I want to work 5 a.m. worked 5 to 1 p.m. came home with the bed woke up went back to work 11 30 to 7 30 this morning I mean I, it's not what I want to do I want to get up work a day shift is what I want work my hours enjoy my family enjoy you know enjoy life and this will get me there so after everything I came, went through I just knew it was time for a change how I'm gonna get to my goals um, my first goal is be my own boss quit my fire my job work for myself to get to that I have to make to get to that point I have to make five thousand dollars a month the second goal get out of debt pay off my debt pay off my house pay off my vehicles pay off the credit cards and then stay out of debt I want to get a bigger house I want to you know right now we're, we, our house is a decent size but it's kind of small um, for this, my size of a family um, but so I'm gonna get a better a bigger house I want to spend more time with my family uh, enjoy with my family take vacations with my family um, but my boys they, they haven't even they've been out of the state twice I said I'd like to take them to see some things and you know I would like to go to Florida check out Florida I mind having a summer house in Florida how I'm gonna reach my goals I have a list that's what I follow every day I have a 90 day plan my first my first uh, number one I'm gonna blog every day number two I'm gonna market daily I'm gonna advertise I'm not gonna advertise a lot so people get annoyed with me on Facebook or anything but I'm gonna advertise every day I'm gonna do my video blog just like I'm doing now I'm just gonna talk I do you know I'm, I'm not an expert at this yet <laughs> hopefully I get better and better as I go I'm going to listen to 30 minutes of audio a day right now I'm listening to Jim Rohn amazing man his stories will pump you up I mean I, I get done listening to him and you know it's in my truck anywhere I go he's I'm, he's in my ear he's, I'm listening to him I'm not listening to the you know the garbage on radio I'm listening to inspire something that's going to inspire me and help me get to my goals I'm gonna read at least 15 minutes to a half hour a day here's the book I'm reading now how to <clears throat> how to develop self-confidence influence people by public speaking great book so far I'm not quite through it yet uh, here's the next book I'm going to read after that one how to talk to anyone I don't know much about that book and I've read most of this book I do I do have a couple chapters to go through this one yet but this one says how to win friends and influence people so I have the tools in my you know right in front of me that, that's going to help me and to help work on myself to give me more confidence I do have a self-confidence issue that I need to get, you know build up I'm going to do my training from my website that uh, I, I found it's free training that's what I would offer to you to go to it's got five steps of training to go through and then they have also extra bonus training that you can go through and it's really amazing training. It's the power of three times three. Great group. 
in a support group. I don't know, I've Skyped with them, uh, a few couple of the guys. I've uh, talked to them through Facebook. I mean, great group of guys. There's a, we got a group page. If you have any questions, you, you need some answers, go there and ask questions. And real good group. I, I'm enjoying this this group a lot. I will talk to 20 people a day using it's called something that you'll learn through that training is called ninja <clears throat> ninja facebooking it's really good training is I've learned a lot from that and I didn't even you know things about Facebook I didn't even know you could do I'm just it's all about learning it's all a big learning experience you know so that's how I'm gonna reach my goals that I went over with you now my next question is what's your goals what do you want to do with your life? Do you want to continue the way you're going? Going to, to your day job or night job, whatever shift you're on. You want to go to that? Are you happy there? I mean, if you're happy there, great. But I mean, are you? If you're not happy with your life and you know what you're getting paid, or maybe you don't even have a, an income right now. I mean, I, I mean, I know people are struggling with today's economy. Um, but I can try to help you get to. To get to your goals as I get to mine. Well, I think I covered everything I'm going to cover today on my video three. So, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, leave me a message. Talk to you guys later.